Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Bex from the next creation. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it. the new subscribers, the returning subscribers. Thank you so much. We are still looking at the FIFA World Cup jobs. Let us try to look at the recap, the updates. Yes, we talked about the three months contract in another video and we talked about the six months contract. What are the benefits that you are supposed to have? As according to the contract. Yes, I got an opportunity to look at one of the contract of one security company, which I will not go to mention. Maybe I can mention that, which is actually uh, one of the security companies. The actual salary of that company for those people that are on six months or three months contract is 3000 Meaning that that salary is even double what a normal employee of a security group who came on a two years contract is earning right now. Because most people of the security company, depending on which kind of category you have, if you're a supervisor and depending on which level, people are earning up to around 2,200, right? So you are getting 3,000, meaning that you have an extra, which is even more than what people are earning. Then, what are other benefits that you are supposed to get? What other benefits that we will agree to? Yes, remember, in that contract that you are going to be given, uh, uh, regarding the three months or the six months, what is going to be measured? The time frame for you to commence and ex and finish up the contract is going to be measured. That one has to be measured in that contract. All right. So if it is three months measured, it will be three months. If it is six months, then it will be definitely measured. It is be going to be six months of that duration that you're going to stay in this country. Hope I'm right. Then still, if that company is going to give you food, it's going to mention it in the contract that it's going to give you food, going to provide you food. Then if that company is going to provide for you accommodation, it's going to mention it that it's, it's going to be part written in the contract that accommodation that you're going to be provided with accommodation. Then we look at issues of medical insurance. I think most of the people that come into the country, right, we looked at updates and look at the visa visas. We look at the latest insurance updates that we talked about. Everyone has an insurance that comes to pay 50 real per month. So that is going to be a cost that is going to be paid by the company. The insurance, the medical will be paid by the company. Then the issue of the transportation, yes, they are going to mention it and will be provided for transportation. I know most of the people that are working this contract or people working this job of the Qatar World Cup uh, contracts of the six months, the three months, you know what I'm talking about. These are some of the benefits you are entitled to. Remember, when you are coming to the country, the company will buy you for ticket. And when you are going to exit the country, definitely repatriate you back to your country. The company that hired you will still have to repatriate you, buy you a ticket and repatriate you back to the country of origin where it recruited you from. Those are some of the benefits that you are accrued to. So for those people that sign this kind of contracts, for remember, this is what, is what has to accrue in your contract and this is what has to be what has to appear in your contract for if you have that job of the three months or what you call the six month contract I hope i've tried to share people and the job offer will strictly specify or strictly outline all what will be your entitlement in this country but remember it's all about doing your role, doing your DGC, doing your duties right. You never know that company can recruit you, can 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 take over you and give you another visa or send you another visa and come back in the country on what we call a normal employee visa, which is a two work visa. Thank you so much for pa pa personal ask uh, a question regarding the three months or the six month uh, contract. These are all we are your entitlements. We are looking at food, we are looking at accommodation, we are looking at medical, we are looking at issues of transport, we are looking at issues of repatriation that is a ticket to unload your country then we are also uh, looking at what we call uh, looking at what we call uh, the transport and the medical insurance that has to be provided for you yes hope i'll try to share everything for you thank you so much for coming back to the channel it's next from the next question see you again in the next video